Hi, I am Waz and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you the complete installation of macOS High Sierra on a custom PC. macOS Sierra to High Sierra upgrade wasn't working for me, so I decided to do a clean install. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon if you want to receive notifications about new videos. Here are some important things before starting the process. Make sure your hardware is macOS supported. Most of the Intel based motherboards are suited for macOS. I am using MSI Z97S Great SLI with Intel Core i7-4790K. I have paired it with NVIDIA GTX 970. NVIDIA has also released drivers for 10 series graphic cards. You should get a USB drive of at least 16 GB. I will suggest to install macOS on a separate hard drive or backup your data first. To create a bootable USB, you need a Mac PC or a MacBook. You can also use virtual machine to create a bootable USB if you don't have any Mac PC. First of all, go to App Store and download the macOS iSierra installation package. After it is downloaded, go to Tony Mac's website and download UniBeast, MultiBeast and Clover Configurator. I will put the link in description. Also download all the KEXT files from there. We might need some of these to boot into the installer. Now plug in the flash drive and open this utility from search menu. Select the USB drive and format it using macOS extended journal and JUID partition map. Then close the window. Now open UniBeast. Select macOS High Sierra UEFI boot and inject NVIDIA. Click continue and enter your password to start the process. It will take around 10 minutes. Now open Clover Configurator and mount the EFI partition. Go to KEXT folder and copy APFS.EFI to other KEXT folder. Also copy APFS.EFI to drivers folder. Open config file with Clover and follow the on-screen options. In boot tab, make sure Dart 0 and NV Disable is selected. In Devices, under USB, select Inject, Add Clock ID and Fix Ownership. From JUI, select your screen resolutions. In RT Variables tab, change CSR Active Config value to 0x67. 
In SMBIO, select the configuration that matches with your processor. Now save the config file. In the end, copy all utilities in the macOS bootable USB. Eject the flash drive. Now restart your computer, go to BIOS options, go to settings and restore defaults. Then go to overclocking settings and switch to advanced mode. From CPU features, disable Intel VTD Tech and CFG lock. Save settings and reboot with your flash drive plugged in. From the Clover screen, go to settings and select the option as shown in video. Boot from external. Wait for few minutes until setup screen shows up. Now go to disk utility and format your hard drive using macOS extended journal and GUID partition map. Go back and click on install macOS. Select your SSD and click continue. Process will take around 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure to select same options from Clover boot menu every time and select your SSD for boot.
After the welcome screen, fill in your details to complete the installation. After the installation, you have to do some setup for proper boot of macOS High Sierra. Now open MultiBeast and select options according to your motherboard. I am selecting UEFI Boot ALC8924 Audio and Realtek for LAN adopter. Open Clover Configurator from flash drive and mount the EFI partitions. Now copy everything from EFI partition of flash drive to EFI partition of macOS installation SSD.
Check macOS version from system report and download NVIDIA drivers using it. Install NVIDIA drivers by following on-screen instructions. Now open Clover Configurator and select NVIDIA Driver, Enable Boot Flag, Uncheck NVIDIA Disable Boot Flag, from Graphics Uncheck Inject NVIDIA. Now restart your system, you have finally installed macOS i Sierra on your custom PC. Do you think it is possible to install macOS on Ryzen motherboards? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If this method works, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.